you know the next thing that you see on your mobile screens i think mobile screens are the most potent device that one has and that's the remote control that you have uh you know that is there working for you uh working for the marketer and giving the pulse of the consumer you know every second every day This is Devlina, your host, welcoming you all to Icons Behind Brand. Another inspiring episode with another special guest with me today, and I welcome Miss Munalisa Mandal, who has over 17 years of dynamic experience. She has left an indelible mark on marketing landscape. Currently serving as the Vice President of Marketing at Fever FM HD Media Limited. Monalisha's career has been defined by groundbreaking achievements. She has not only spearheaded digital transformation, but also played a pivotal role in unlocking incremental revenue. Join us as we delve deep into Monalisha's journey. A very warm welcome to you, Monalisha, on Icons Behind Brands. Thank you so much, Devlina. Uh, I'm uh, really humbled by that uh, introduction. just the start i would say the way uh, uh, transformation is happening in the digital space i think it's just a start long way to go still we definitely have a long way to go but it's really fascinating the way it is taking a shape and i'm excited to talk about all those things manalisa i mean how technology is shaping up marketing and other things but before we get into that you know uh, if we know about your journey and background if you share your journey and background i think that will be a right way to build the context for today's conversation so i think you have already uh, captured a good part of my journey but just to you know reiterate the entire journey once again uh, well it started around 2006 uh, it started with campus placement uh, with you know with a very big organization at that time uh, still is uh, it's called the india bulls uh, oh. and uh, yeah a lot of different kind of people i met uh, during my first experience uh, you know people from all walks of life people who are hardcore business men people who are into service <laughs> so of course that was a uh, that was a very short stint of time i spent there in india bulls but it was a, a very enriching experience i would say because it gave me an insight into uh, you know how to interact with people from different walks of life and how to change your marketing speed uh, depending on who's across the table how do you pitch your product that's right uh, same product how do you pitch your product to different set of people in different ways uh, you know bringing out different facets of the product which is relevant for that audience the product is the same yeah. uh, but you are selling in so many different ways yeah. so i think that was that was a great learning experience although that stint lasted for about 6 months mm-hmm. so i was serving a uh, big brands like nestle airtel dish tv um, a lot of other uh, banking clients that's how the journey started i think i traveled also that was that was a period of 2 to 1 and a half years where i traveled across india to carry out a lot of research work again met a lot of uh, people gained a lot of exposure in uh, you know directly understanding and probing the consumer mm-hmm. about you know their choices about right. what is governing their choices and that gave me a very uh, great insight and i would say an edge also till date where uh, you know it helps me a lot when right now in the brand and marketing space when i'm launching a product or i'm about to launch a, a marketing campaign uh, quickly get into a research quickly get into the nuances of uh, you know uh, uh, of uh, an understanding about the consumer how are they perceiving the change or the uh, the product uh, is something uh, that i really value today also right uh, of 
course from there on i moved on to the brand and marketing role i worked with liquor company i worked with auto company uh then i moved to media okay uh, uh you know my first stint in media was with red fm then i could be uh you know not pretty actually uh, i spent there uh, four and a half years and, okay uh, then we moved to uh, fever <coughs> more or less uh, yes uh, it has been a very diversified experience for me shifting my uh, you know uh, shifting my uh, industry uh, from research to auto to liquor to media now wow. uh, don't know where will i go from here on but yes mm-hmm. every experience had given me uh, a lot to learn you know because every time you change an industry the first 6 8 months you take time to learn but uh, i think uh, i i enjoy that experience where i'm actually put into a scenario where it's a open space for me it's a completely vast field for me to improvise to bring about new answers and to think from an outsider's point of view that has sometimes worked for me sometimes it has backfired also but i think uh, it's a part and parcel of the experience that you gain over a period of years you miss some there are some hits also and you keep on improvising you keep on learning and that's how my journey has been that's right and that's pretty fascinating munalisa uh, you know changing lot of uh, industry and uh, you know the experience from lot of different industry i think that is how it shaped a person like you who you are and that is what is going to bring a lot of value to the platform bringing your expertise from all those experiences here so uh, let's deep dive into this uh, you know and let me uh, go into uh, you know how have the changes in consumer behavior okay changes in consumer behavior and preferences influence the evolution of marketing approaches So yeah, uh, I would like to address this uh, with the fact that uh, today, with the uh, with the advent of AI, uh, right. that has completely uh, you know taken the marketing and the digital world by storm. Mm-hmm. There is so much that is happening in the field of uh, uh, so to say marketing, consumer preferences, consumer behavior, and the and the way we are dealing with. enormous amount of data that is coming our way right. how we are you know synthesizing all the data how we are uh, <coughs> uh how we are uh, decoding uh, you know the the overdose of information which is there with us as brand and marketing people sometimes it gets very unnerving sometimes it gets very uh, overwhelming right <coughs> so let's talk about how it is uh, you know what are the changes and how it is impacting of course we all know uh, that you can't let go of uh, uh, of an eyesight on uh, how uh, digitalization is impacting our uh, strategies that's right in the digital uh, field everything has become way more personalized way more targeted uh you know the fact that the the most important thing which is impacted us brand marketers or uh, digital marketers is the personalization aspect of how we are communicating with our uh, with our target audience set i think it is uh, you know it is very uh, it is very interesting of how uh, you know right now you can actually target uh, or contextually target uh, your Uh, your audience uh, mm-hmm. depending on their time of the day mood of the day uh, yeah. you know preferences uh, you know uh, their their habits on digital uh, everything is getting tracked and i yeah. think uh, all of that information like i was telling you mm-hmm. sometimes it becomes overwhelming for a marketer to slice and dice the information look into yeah. uh, you know so many uh, yeah because that's too much yeah interesting pieces of uh data that is getting captured but uh think of it this way that it also enables mm-hmm. us to uh you know ensure that the marketing efforts 
are very very sharp shooters uh you know are giving you higher conversion right. uh, and it is not a one size fits all sort of a strategy that we used to do right uh, you know till about the recent past there was a uh uh you know there was uh, this this uh, this importance of doing a lot of atl campaigns television campaigns uh however right now a lot of big companies are not even looking at atl campaigns or big television campaigns they are very very sharply defining their uh, user journey on the digital and right. creating content pegs and communication just to target them on the digital platform be it social media be it uh, via uh, you know via the world wide web uh, you know that's one aspect that is that has emerged as the most important uh evolution right uh, you know the market in, in budgets the, have shifted a lot like from the offline side from the atl side to digital side it has like massive changes within few years in fact i would exactly so becoming <laughs> becoming very very information oriented becoming very very uh relatable becoming very very uh trending becoming very very uh you know uh, capturing the moment uh capturing the moment and including those moment marketing into your conversation so yeah uh coming back to content marketing like i was saying that uh making sure that uh that we are riding on to the moment marketing wave is very important for us marketers as well so the second point is content marketing the third one is uh i think it it has to be marketing and advertising is no more a one way uh conversation mm. it has to be two way right it has to right. have a leg where the user is also participating in the brand narrative right right so those would be my uh you know uh, uh bigger agenda item the kind of evolution which we are seeing in marketing is uh, you know mind blowing uh data is one thing which came first and data content uh, then ai and uh, you know the social media evolution influencers so there are so much to talk about and uh, you have cleared it well here monalisa can you share a marketing strategy or marketing campaign idea that you know you have always wanted to execute but uh, haven't had uh, the chance to do so and uh, how might you adapt it for a real world scenario for that so i think i really adore what zomato does with its marketing campaign i uh, i'm very uh, uh, i'm very fond of uh, zomato's uh, all the marketing campaigns that do so because prompt. again like i told you Zomato is so prompt in everything. Like I mean, the kind of marketing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's too. that's what you have to you have to capture the moment. You, you know, like, so the moment. You know the the success of any marketing campaign or uh, any successful conversation with your audience also lies in the fact that how quick you are react to, uh, you know, to the pop culture references that are floating around. You have to be. part of the conversation you have to take the lead you have to be quick enough uh to lead the conversation and for that you have to be always always on your toes you have to be one step ahead of uh you know the uh, global events that are that are happening of the relevant events that the brand can own uh and therefore build conversations from there another brand that i really adore is Dove, I think uh, the way they have, they've always been very, very meaningful mm-hmm. in the conversation that they drive. Uh, they, they again, uh, there is a purpose to the conversation. I think uh, the Gen Z uh, these days are looking forward to brands with a purpose. Yeah. They are very particular about, uh, you know, uh, how woke the brand is. what kind of conversations is the brand participating in uh do these ideologies match with my ideology or not right uh you know do they have an opinion on uh you know on uh 
different things which are uh, you know which are basically impacting the gen z uh, today so to be able to uh, you know kind of uh, again bring them into the conversation it is important that you are driving some of your campaigns uh, with that filter in mind ab has become very mindful of the fact that what are the spaces that they own what are the conversations that they are owning is it relevant to them as a brand or not is it relevant to the tg that they are targeting towards how are they bringing the tg into the conversation how is it a two way conversation those things are very important and i think uh, i would have i would have loved to do some of those brilliant pieces of work that these two brands are doing and learn right. from these and inculcate those in the campaigns that i am doing at fever uh, you know uh, that's always been the endeavor to to have a two way process with my with my audience yeah and today's audience is much more evolved uh, you know uh, they exactly know what and they uh, for them uh brand is not just a product and service it's much more than uh just a product and service it's their persona they relate to the brand i mean uh whether this is you know resonating well to me or not and that's how they decide to go ahead uh with a brand so i think the responsibility for any brands and businesses are much more higher because the expectation from the consumer is much more higher than what it used to be Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, can you share your viewpoints on you know potential downsides of hyper targeted marketing, and how do you strike a balance between personalization? We spoke about personalization and respecting user privacy. So that is one of one more concern uh, to the user side, and also it's a concern from the marketing side that how to reach your user without you know. Uh, uh without uh disturbing their privacy i think it's a double edged sword uh you know both the sides are as important while it is important for uh for the marketing fraternity to ensure that the budgets are efficiently utilized and for for that to happen personalization is important for that to happen targeting is important for that to happen we need to ensure that we are dicing the data to an extent where i am sending relevant communication to the relevant set of audience at the right time uh while all this is happening think of it from a consumer point of view we all know that sometimes it becomes very creepy you know you may be thinking about something and suddenly you know the next thing that you see on your mobile screens i think mobile screens are the most potent device that one has and that's the remote control that you have uh you know that is there working for you uh working for the marketer and giving the pulse of the consumer you know every second every day uh while it is important like i told you while it is important for us to ensure that that information is captured uh, we need to be cognizant of the fact that how much can you intrude the privacy mm. how much to what extent can you go right uh yes it is a fine line where do you want to you know how much you want to pursue that customer mm-hmm. and where do you want to stop that mm-hmm. is something that we as a fraternity is also learning it's a continuous process it will take its own time while we uh, you know we, while we want to retain uh you know retain a link with the consumer till the time we don't see a conversion happening but there has to be a cut off you must ensure that that uh, you know after a considerable amount of time and that time you have to define you have to let that consumer go mm. right you you and you ensure that whenever you you, you know you have your data protections uh, tnc's very well intact you have your uh, you know you have full transparency on with your user on how much data are you collecting because you you tell them and you ask them 
very very candidly there should not be any grey areas here alright because right now also there has been a lot of uh, conversations around it you know we leave a lot of it in the grey area uh, and the users or the or our audience are are uh, you know are a victim uh, to that because they don't know where to click how much to click which is the you know you know which is the tick box that they have done and how much information are they passing on to at the back end to all the uh, you know to all the uh, publishers or yeah. to all the ads or to the app they don't know yeah why the consumer is also evolving we are also evolving and and i think uh, the government is also evolving i mean we we see every day uh, there are uh, you know there are policy changes which are happening there are uh, there are data protection laws which are uh, you know which the government is working on which the uh, you know ministry of uh, information and broadcast is also working on to ensure that from 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 us as a fraternity it is important that we are updated about the regulatory compliances by ccpa uh, there are ethical considerations we are it, you know it's important that uh, ethically you tell your consumer very very clearly what are the data that you are collecting at every point in time ensuring that there is algorithm transparency uh, you know ensuring that you have properly captured the data at your end and you are not mm-hmm. uh you know how do i say you are you know there is enough security at your end there is no breach of security even if you are taking permission uh you know to collect the data uh, uh, you know you are ensuring that the data uh is you know safe in your custody it is not shared ahead it is not leaked ahead the breaches don't happen you have enough controls internal controls on them so those are you know the most important things that we have to take care of but at the same time like i told you it is important for marketers to ensure that we have that granularity in the data because it is important for us to now ensure that our campaigns are working more efficiently uh, we have uh, uh, we have more uh, uh, you know uh, uh, bang for the buck for every money that we are spending in the market Uh, we are, uh, we, you know, it's important that we are reaching out to the right set of audience. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, of course, there has to be a balancing act from both the side. Right. Yeah. and it's a huge responsibility for marketing uh, fraternity, the uh, the whole marketers, uh, that you know, to take care of their privacy as well, to understand where to stop. So, I think it's a huge responsibility. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Before we wind up, uh, you know, I want you to talk for our aspiring marketing professional. A lot of our viewers are from these schools. They are looking their career as a marketer. So, what is your message for an aspiring marketing professional? Uh, I think in today's day and age, it is very important that you are uh, that you constantly have a learning curve. That you are, uh, you know, constantly reading about the different things that are happening. Uh, you know in the world of uh, tech and uh, you know uh, in the in the in the field of tech tra- transformation uh, you should always be ready very open to uh, accepting the fact that uh, whatever digital transformation is happening that is going to foster and further your uh, you know your knowledge base also uh, it is also there to help you in your endeavor Uh, in sharpening your strategies, in sharpening your approach towards a problem, uh, approach towards a uh, you know to a uh, to a business objective that you have. Uh, therefore, uh, you know never have uh, that uh, never have that uh, place in your or moment in your life where you are saying that I know it all. Uh, we are always evolving. We are always reading. Read a lot. Uh, keep on, uh, keep on making sure that you are, that you are up to date with what is happening. Uh, that you are also giving a lot of time to yourself uh, to to re-energize yourself. Don't burn yourself out early in your life. It's a long way to go. It's a long, uh, you know, it's a long journey, long road ahead. So be mindful of 
a lot of things that you are doing in your life be mindful of your choices uh, that you are making early in your career make mistakes is okay but don't get uh, you know demotivated with mistakes or with a rough episode that might have happened with you it's okay to take it every episode with the pinch of salt come out of it with a victorious approach come out of it with a learning learner's ability that okay this is what happened and therefore this was what my uh, you know what my learning was uh, and and therefore this is what i need to do in my next uh, endeavor uh, so of course those are the golden rules uh, that i would myself also follow i tell my team members also and to anyone who is starting their career in marketing uh, world super and uh, that brings uh, you know another uh, you know that brings another end of the episode like uh, it's a thought provoking episode and uh, we had an incredible time talking with you a lot about marketing a lot about leadership and life and uh, i'm glad that you agreed for this manalisha and uh, we had an incredible time thank you so much for having uh, thank you so much for being here and uh, it was amazing having you so same here evelina i think i also uh, equally enjoyed our conversation uh, you know i uh, i thoroughly enjoyed the the the, the repertoire of questionnaire uh, you had brought to the table and it helped me uh, you know kind of focus and be focus on a lot of things bunk a lot of myths uh, talk casually to you on a lot of subjects so it was uh, equally fun equally insightful uh, and uh, you know i enjoyed every bit of our conversation that i